Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Going to give you a very thorough overview of the article here. There's a link in the description. This is a current active shooting situation, which has happened in Queensland today. Uh, this situation started just over five hours ago. This article was updated nine minutes ago, or a little bit more than that, but pretty much up-to-date information as we have it at this point. It is a tragedy. Two police officers have been shot and killed in an ambush at a remote property in Queensland's Darling Downs area. So a regional area, a remote property, 280 kilometers east of Brisbane. Two police officers have been shot and killed. They were fired upon in what's described as an ambush by at least two gunmen at least two those gunmen are on the run uh those gunmen were able to somehow don't know exactly how but they were able to take some of the police communications equipment so perhaps they ransacked one of the patrol vehicles i'm guessing in that point but the uh the gunmen be it two or more have police communication systems and that's going to allow them to be able to track the movements of the police so there is a manhunt enacted en masse um, two police officers have been killed this is extremely serious further to that another two police officers have been shot and wounded one of the wounded officers is a man the other a woman uh, we don't know the severity of their injuries of the wounded officers, the two wounded officers. We do know that one of the wounded officers was able to get to a patrol vehicle and to escape. And in so doing, they were able to call back up. Uh, the other wounded officer was able to thankfully, thankfully able to find cover. So they were left behind, uh, but they were able to find cover and um backup came on mass um officers wearing kevlar uh, all of the protective equipment that would be required and they were able to recover the uh, wounded the shot and wounded officer so both of the shot and wounded officers are in hospital receiving treatment we don't know the severity of their injuries let's hope let's pray that those injuries of the two shot and wounded officers aren't life-threatening. Let's hope and pray that they're not life-changing injuries. Let's hope and pray that both shot and wounded officers are able to make full recoveries. But of course, full condolences to the families of the two police officers that have lost their lives, that were shot and killed. Um, so this happened in a rural property. The specific location is Wayne's Road in Wyambilla, if I pronounce that correctly. I think I do. Wyambilla. Um, in Queensland, 280 kilometers east of Brisbane. This happened at 4.45 p.m. today, Monday. So that is... Um, hang on. That is just over five hours ago. Okay, so this happened during daylight during the daytime and uh, it's been described as an ambush officers were attending the rural property why they were investigating um, reports of a missing person now we're not told who the missing person is we don't know the details in regards to that uh, but seemingly the police had a lead or such they were investigating uh, the possibility that a missing person was being held, presumably, at this rural property. Um, they attended the property and the group of officers, so seemingly four officers, I, I'm presuming there were four officers, um, they were ambushed. They were shot at by at least two gunmen. The gunmen have fled the scene, as I mentioned. They've taken police communication equipment, which allows them to track police movements. And uh, there is a... I'm quite confident that there's going to be a lot of resources thrown at this situation. 
there's going to be all kinds of uh, vehicles, helicopters, all kinds of search equipment, drones, uh, searching the entire region. Um, so this is going to be treated in the utmost urgency and importance. Now, having said that, uh, sorry to be a skeptic, uh, but having said that, this is a very rural area. I've not spent too much time in rural Australia, pretty much a city boy. Um, but I'm going to imagine that if these guys are part of a criminal organization, which I would suspect that they are, that would be my guess, my speculation would be that these guys are part of a a criminal organization. They certainly felt a very strong need to protect their territory. That's how I would view the situation. Shooting at multiple officers, killing at least two of the officers. Let's hope it remains at a maximum of two. Uh, I mean, sounds like a criminal organization to me. We don't know if the missing person was part of uh, human trafficking. Uh, we, we don't know the details there. Uh, but it seems very severe. Um, a very severe situation. I would have to guess that this is um, a criminal organization at play. They've got police communication equipment. They're in a rural area. If they are well prepared... Uh, they could have hideouts in various places throughout this rural area. It could be extremely difficult to find these guys. They're not going to want to be found, obviously. They're on the run. They're going to be able to hide. We've just seen... We've just seen the difficulties in finding a missing person in rural Queensland, T. Right Finger... Uh, she was found five kilometers outside of the town of Richmond. Um, it took officers, I think I'm, my memory slipping, but I think six weeks before they discovered her vehicle. Um, and that wasn't even hidden. Her vehicle was left out in the open, basically. Um, so it can be extremely hard uh, to find anybody or anything that does not want to be found in these rural areas. So the police will have all of the resources made available to them, I'm sure. Helicopters, drones, all kinds of gadgets, specialists. But it's now gone 10 p.m. in Queensland. It's going to be pitch black. Pitch black. And if these gunmen, at least two of them, if they're organized, they've got they've got a bit of a head start, I'm afraid. I fear that they this is going to be difficult to find these guys. Um, the article tells us that residents within Chinchilla Tara Road, Weambilla Road, Bennett School Road, and Mary Street have been told to stay indoors until further notice. Um, ambulance, Queensland Ambulance Services on the scene two life flight helicopters and a rescue 500 chopper have been sent to the area multiple helicopters specialist police have been deployed uh, and another squirrely aspect here is that this whole area Weambilla region the Weambilla region is known for being a black spot for communications Okay, so that's going to make it very difficult, I would imagine, if I understand correctly, for the police and the other organizations involved to communicate with each other. So this gives a lot of advantages to the gunman, I fear. Uh, that, that's what I'm suspecting. Um, so it's, it's a tragedy. Two police officers have been shot and killed. A further two have been shot and injured. We know that those two officers are in hospital. They're receiving medical treatment. We don't know the severity of those injuries. We hope, we pray that they're not life-threatening, that they're not life-changing injuries. Of course, again, full condolences to the families of the fallen officers. And, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers for everyone concerned. These officers have got a very, very big and difficult task in front of them. I am impressed generally with um, the police. Uh, I will mention again 
that in regards to the T. Wright Finger missing persons case uh, in Richmond, the police have faced quite a lot of criticism uh, in regards to their search. Um, a lot of resources were thrown in finding T. Wright Finger, but then they were withdrawn after, I think, nine days. Which, I don't know, I mean, perhaps that's understandable, perhaps it isn't, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, the, the police were also, also criticised for not utilising members of the local community enough. Uh, they didn't, they weren't tapping into uh, people in the local community and their ability to assist. And again, T. Wright Finger's vehicle and tragically body was found a mere five kilometers outside of richmond um so you would think that that uh she could have been found a lot quicker um but there we go hopefully i've not muddied the situation by talking about uh t right fingers case um but it just reminds me it is a missing person and you know the the police have visited this property in the weambella area uh, in order to investigate a missing person. Um, I'm going to perhaps muddy the water slightly more. I'm going to mention a couple of other missing people uh, that are currently listed on the mypolice.queensland.gov.au website. Uh, I believe these three people that I'm going to go over very quickly are still missing. Uh, this 13-year-old boy has gone missing from the Gold Coast since December the 2nd. I'll be making a standalone video in regards to him uh in a well today or tomorrow a woman has also been missing uh from the gold coast since december the 9th uh, a 31 year old woman and her two children so we don't know that these missing people are involved in the case at wyambilla uh, but i'm just mentioning these as we are told that the police have gone to the initially went to the property in order to investigate reports of a missing person so another missing person that i'm currently aware of is a young boy 15 year old boy from Kungul. so again we don't know if this is in any way related um i'm just mentioning these and i will be making standard standalone videos in regards to each of these three missing persons cases over the next day or two uh, but for now, I'm going to wrap things up here. Uh, let's hope and pray that the police are able to get some leads, and that they are able to find these gunmen. Um, going to wrap things up. Take care.